Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am boxing the newest box from Creative Retreat Kits. This is for October, and this is God Can. So let's dive right in and take a look at everything that comes in the kit for the month of October. So here is the devotional card. It was written by Aaron Davis, and then all of the artwork and all that goodness was done by Ashley Lewis. Um, these are ladies that I have followed for a long time on social media, so definitely check them out. Um, Ashley actually lives just a couple hours from me so one of these days we will have a meetup I will get to meet her <laughs> so that was been kind of neat so uh, God Can written by Aaron Davis and we are going to be zooming in and looking at a multiple different passages, but really looking at the story of Esther. Um, and Aaron kind of talks about this idea of feeling like overwhelmed. We've got this running list of all these things that we've got to do um, and kind of throwing our hands up in the air and saying, I can't do this. But looking into scripture, and remembering that, you know, God calls us to do things even when we think that we can't do it. Um, and that's so we can lean into him. He is there. He's going to make it so that we can um, do it. And so we're going to look at some of the scripture that kind of talk about that. This is something that I've definitely been struggling with. So this is a very timely kit for me. Um, and you've got plenty of of verses to check out. So there's lots of journaling that can be done. Um, and then she also has some reflection questions, of course, to get you to kind of connect with the devotional content. And uh, I like to always go through, do one pass of the devotional, kind of pull out whatever I pull out, journal on that. And then I come back in and look at the reflection questions to see if that, you know, points me maybe to some things that I hadn't pulled out of the devotional when I went through it, maybe some different things that I hadn't thought before and that kind of thing. So you do have five reflection, um, questions there. And then on the back side, you have your pattern cardstock. So it's this really pretty blue with these little crowns and leaves. Um, we're talking about that verse in Esther 414, um, who knows if perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. I've seen some translations. Um, maybe you were made, perhaps you are made for such a time as this. Um, I've seen it on posters. When I had an Etsy shop, I had a wood sign that had that verse on there. So it's one of those verses that you see quite a bit. So with that theme of looking at Queen Esther, um, there are some crowns and things. And of course, blue is kind of that royalty color. So I love that. Um, you can use this to die cut things out of, cut things out of, tab punch. Uh, you can either wait until you've worked through the devotional and then cut into it, or you can scan this into your computer or maybe take a picture on your phone um, to keep the devotional content before you cut into this part. Just keep in mind that it is personal use only. So if you do scan it in and copy it, don't be distributing it to all your friends and family because that's not what it's meant for. Um, um, but you can go ahead and do that and then be able to use the pattern on the back side. So let's go ahead and look at everything else that comes in the kit. I don't know about you, but the temp has finally fallen a little bit here in California. I actually have the heater on very low today. I've got fall colors, sweatshirts, so I'm all ready for all the fall colors of this kit. So let's start with the stamp set. You have your three by four stamp set. Again, this is all the lettering and designs by Ashley Lewis. So you've got some words, um, crowned, called, equipped, chosen for his glory. Love that typewriter fonts. So of course, those are words that you can use again and again and again. I love her font. It's so pretty or her handwriting is so pretty. You got a big giant ampersand, a flower, a little floral piece here and some leaves and then a crown piece right there. So you can kind of mix and match those pieces. Love that. Um, this month, instead of bow clippies, we're getting washi tape, and this is beautiful. This, like, plum color is my absolute favorite color of life. I have tons of clothing pieces in this color. Um, just is, it's my favorite color, hands down. So it's all of these gold foiled, I don't know if you can see the foiling, uh, floral images on this washi. So a great layering background washi. This is my favorite type of washi is to have something um, that can be layered behind things as opposed to words on the washi. I kind of like it to be like this. And this color is not anything that I have in my stash. So I am obsessed. I'm excited. All right, next up, you've got the cardstock stickers. So you have this sheet that has the different shapes and word fetty. Things got changed up a little bit this month, which I'm excited about. I always like when there's little changes, just, you know, if you've been getting creative retreat as long as I I have. I'm going on over two years of being with Creative Retreat Kits. Um, and so it's kind of nice to have some changes. So rather than having a whole bunch of word fetty up here, we've just got a little section of word fetty and then some of those really pretty words done by Ashley. Of course, you've got the wonky hearts, some more phrases and words, some um, 
like greenery pieces love these floral bits love the banners those are awesome some little crowns bear crown here so lots and lots of different pieces all stuck in there and then our color palette of course is that deep blue a deep 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 green and a mustard yellow and that purple Oh my gosh, fall colors. And this is like my favorite palette for fall. I was looking back at some Bible journaling entries from like two years ago, and this was the color palette I used all through like October and November. So I, I'm obsessed. And then the alpha stickers. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know the Bible journaling world has been on fire for typewriter font, type everything, typewriter, just that whole look. And so you've got this um, serif font, kind of like a typewriter font, all uppercase, and they're circles, and they're the colors of the kit. How stinking amazing. I can see these being used tons and tons and tons and tons. So there is a look at the stickers. Um, definitely check out my cord, uh, blog post for today because I will have the color swatches. Some of these colors may be a little tough. I'm kind of looking at my colors now and I may have a little bit of difficulty with some of these darker colors. So we'll see what we can come up with. It'll be over my blog for you guys. Um, you can head on down to the description box and grab your October kit. Um, if you aren't already subscribed, you have the option of subscribing and just getting a monthly or you can buy them month by month, whichever works for you. So definitely check that out. Those are affiliate links, just heads up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for this kit. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos from me. Uh, some of you have been saying that YouTube's acting kind of funny and my videos aren't showing in your subscription feed when they post. So by clicking that bell, you're notified every time I uh, upload a video so you won't miss it. Be sure to also go over and follow the Creative Retreat Kits YouTube channel. There are several of us from the de design team um, that post videos over there throughout the month so you can kind of see how we're working through the kit. So there is that. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.